Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video we're going to go over the update that dropped after they gave us the notice of the update that told us absolutely nothing about what the update would be about. And I just want to start off, I want to preface this by saying, look, I really do enjoy Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. I plan on playing this game for a long time in the foreseeable future. However, I'm not going to sugarcoat things. I'm going to call it like I see it, and that means identifying the good and the bad. Just know that when I am critical of the game or of updates or what's happening, you know, that's just because I think there are times when they could do a little bit better. And one of the things I want to know going into this is, you know, the bomb rush event still uh, is amazing. We are still, we're now eight days away from that beginning, okay? Um... The Sephiroth crash event, you know, that happened a couple days before the bomb event. So we're like 10 or 11 days into that. And, you know, what kind of happens with some of these is it becomes a little bit of a lull, right? So we get excited when we see a new update and uh, this is what they are. So we'll start with the dungeons. Uh, returning crisis dungeons on now. This is really, really good for new players. Uh, for people that have been playing since launch. It's good if you were not able to get an S or an S plus in a couple of these dungeons. So kudos to them for re-releasing these. Um, however, for anybody that doesn't score rewards that have already been received in the past cannot be received again. So essentially what this is telling us is if you already, you know, if you go into your dungeons and you've already s plus these um you know obviously patapilly sea cave that's one i could redo um but Copine caverns low ruins mako reactor one like i've already got s pluses on all of those so oh you know um not really much for me to get accomplished here um you know and Honestly, I would normally really be interested in getting these 500 crisis medals. However, I mean, I've got 10,000. And yeah, there's going to be a new Buster Sword, presumably in like five days or so. But other than that, I just, there's no, what what am I spending these on? Like, I, I just, I feel like they need to really update that. Because remember, when you first started... Um, you know, and you had all of these things to get, this was really exciting to get these, right? Like everybody wanted to get all the breaches. Everybody always wanted to get this mithril ore. Um, but then the fact that they just don't ever update it, they could at least update the mithril ore. Um, but that's something they want people to pay money for, I guess. I don't know. Just a little disheartening on that front. So while I think that's great for new players, you know, uh, it's it's really not catering a lot towards, you know, people who've been playing for, I'd say, longer than the Steam release or so. Um, okay, moving on. The bomb event. This is, I still have the best things to say about this because I didn't even think they needed to do this, but they've basically refreshed the shop or added a second shop with way more stuff. And if we take a look at that stuff, and you can see five star weapon draw guaranteed four star weapon guaranteed and there's five of those 10 regular draw tickets and another batch of character memories for every single character and more of the power pieces the healing pieces the magic pieces like this is amazing and they really didn't i don't think they had to do this so i really give them credit for being extremely generous in this event i just want the rest of the stuff to be this good and i think that that's possible all right going on to the last update we have the start of the year step up draw and you know a couple things that i don't like about what they've done here so look how detailed this is like they've really put a lot of effort into explaining in the notice even everything that this entails why i mean and most of what they're explaining by the way is aid packages so i mean it just seems like a little bit of like a money grab 
They are spending all this time explaining all this stuff in the notice to us about stuff that costs money. And then kind of just like breezing through free stuff. That's how that update or that notice makes me feel. Uh, looking at this actual step up draw banner, um, you know, for free to play, obviously this is shit because you're not going to have any red crystals. You get a free 10 draw. That's cool. For dolphins, you know, or even light spenders, I don't know. It's okay. I don't think it's great. Why? Because there's nothing featured. So it's, you know, you pay 6,000 crystals to get a couple guaranteed five-star weapons that, you know, depending on how many weapons you need versus don't need, probably have a better chance of being something you don't need. I guess it's technically better than paying 3,000 red crystals because, you know, if you take all of these together, in the fact, I'm not going to count the first one because everybody gets that. You don't have to pay for that. But once you pay, you know, 3,000, you unlock a free 10. So we'll just call this 6,000 crystals for four draws. That comes out to 1,500 crystals a draw. So it's basically like getting a 50% discount compared to this here. But on this here, you can at least set a wish list, which, you know, to some extent influences what you get. So, you know, I'm not really excited about it. And the last thing about the step up banner is... A lot of gotchas that do these, at least in the step five or whatever the last step is, there is like more than just a like you get a five star weapon. It's usually like a featured weapon. And, you know, seeing as this is the like second step up banner they've done to not have a featured weapon at the end, like I I just don't understand because to me, a whale pulls on this. Sure. If they need weapons. Okay. A dolphin. Maybe, but anybody who's like, I will spend on anything that's got value. Probably not spending on this. Most likely because it just, there's, I can't guarantee anything that I actually want. And let's be honest. Uh, 6,000 red crystals is like 40 bucks. So, I mean, that's not cheap if you think about it. And you're only guaranteed two five-star weapons. I don't know. Just not my cup of tea, I guess. So that's what I think about all the updates. Um, again, really excited about the the addition of more stuff to get for the bomb thing. You know, I'm on my, I think there's like, I have like three or four more characters that I need to hit level 70 and then I'm completely done. As for... The other stuff, you know, to be honest, I don't even know if I'm going to go back through uh, this Patapilly Sea Cave and try to get an S+. Plus. At the moment, unfortunately, I just don't really see the point in it. It doesn't seem worth it to me. And by the way, I did get a comment on this. Uh, for anyone who needs a guide on any of these dungeons, I have guides out for every single one of them. Just go to, the, go to my channel, go to Playlists there is a Crisis Dungeon playlist. It's got every single Crisis Dungeon and limited time event dungeon that I've ever ran in that playlist. So find what you need. And, uh, you know, because a lot of these were done a long time ago, uh, you know, the power level should be very appropriate, you know, for the content. So hopefully that helps. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.